common smart purposes, I now declare this meeting of the Smithville FFA chapter to be open for the transaction of business or attention to any matter which may now be probably presented. Due to the nature of this contest, our agenda for the day is opening ceremonies, old business, new business, and closing ceremonies. Is there any old business? Hearing now, now, to the new business, any new business. Mr. Chairman. Chris. I, I move to donate extra fruit from the citrus sale to the lo local food pantry. Second. It's been moved by Chris and taken by Sean that we donate extra fruit from the citrus sale to the local food pantry. May mind this is debatable, amendable, and requires a majority vote. We now for discussion. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Chris. We have, when our fruit sale comes in, we always have extra fruit because Ms. Adderall... Mr. Chairman. Sean. As Chris was trying to say, Ms. Adderall every year orders extra fruit in order that people who want more can buy them. But it, since it is near, nearing Christmas time, we would be able to donate that to people with no food or money who won't be able to get extra food for Christmas. Mr. Chairman? Yeah, we have a lot of fruit left over from fruit sales, so we could donate that to the fruit pantry. Any more discussion? Mr. Chairman? Got it. I move to refer this motion to the Committee of Three with the power of active to report back our next meeting. As we move, Second. Second. It's been moved by Skyler and seconded by Sean that we refer this motion to Committee of Three with the power to act and report back to our next scheduled meeting on January and next scheduled meeting. Anybody is debatable, amendable, or across majority vote? Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman? Tyler. La I was on the committee last year and we absolutely got nothing done and did not even report for the next meeting, so there's no reason to do this. Mr. Chairman? Chris. I was also on that committee and we did a lot. But Tyler here, who had the main part, did nothing, so we had nothing to show for our work when we reported back. Mr. Chairman, Skyler, I was not on the committee last year, but I thought that we, that the committee that was on it, they did a very good job. Being on, Mr. Chairman, yeah, being on the committee, we got nothing done, so it'd be pointless to refer this to the committee. Do you have discussion? Hearing none, we now see the vote. All in favor that we refer this motion to the committee, we say aye. 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 All opposed, we say nay. Nay. The referred to the committee fails. The division of the House has been called for. All, all in favor that we refer this motion to the committee, please rise. Four, Madam Secretary. All opposed, please rise. Three, Madam Secretary. The motion that referred to the committee passes a vote count to four to three. We're now back to the main main discussion of the main motion. All right, so the point of order. State your point. We referred this motion to the committee. We are now on to a new topic. Your point is well taken. Your point, your point is well taken. Corner Rob to move order. We are now back. We are now open for new any more new business. Any new business? Mr. Chairman. John. I move to invite the state FFA president to speak at the annual chapter banquet. Second. It's been moved by Sean and seconded by Malaga that we invite the state FFA president to speak at the annual chapter banquet. Anybody this is debatable, amendable, and requires a majority vote. There any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Sean. Every year we have a special guest that speaks at our banquet, so inviting the actual state president would be a huge honor. Mr. Chairman. Carrie. Inviting him to speak for us would be such an honor he is so inspirational to all of us. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I move to amend this motion by striking out F FA president and inserting FA state, FA um, officers. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Gavin, seconded by Sean, that we strike out FA president and insert FA officer team. May I this is debatable and then one requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Chris. We do not have time at our banquet to invite all of them to speak. We can only have one of them speak due to uh, lack of time. Mr. Chairman. Scott. I do agree with Chris that we do not have the time to have all of the officer team speak. Just the president would be good. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Tyler. If we invited all the officer team, they give us more inspiration on how we do now, so that would be a great idea. Chairman, so more discussion. Here you now, now choose a vote. All in favor that we Amend this motion by striking out FFA president and inserting FFA officer team. Please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Nay. The amendment fails. We are now back to the main discussion of the main motion. Is there any more discussion? Mr. Chairman. Chris. Being our banquet is so close to the state uh, convention where they elect the new president or officers, this would be a, a great thing for them to do as their last uh, chapter visit. Is there any more discussion? Mr. Chairman. Gavin. Yeah. The FFA president is a great speaker, so 
vote, vote with me. Did have our discussion? Hearing no one ask you to vote. All in favor that we invite the state FFA president to speak at the annual chapter banquet, please say aye. Aye. All votes, please say nay. Nay. The motion passes. Is there any new business? Mr. Chairman. Tyler. I move that our chapter, chapter ask for a school board president to chaperone the state FFA convention trip. Second. Okay. It's been moved by Tyler and seconded by Sean that the chapter ask the school board's president to chaperone the state FFA convention trip. Mary Money is debatable, amenable, and requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Carrie. Having the president come is, would be really fun because she is so awesome and she really fun to everything. Mr. Mr. Vice President, do you assume the views of the chair for our discussion over this matter? With this guy, we give all all the right responsibilities of the chair. This would not be a good idea because the school board president is not fun at, at all, and I would much rather see that we invite the principal of the high school to come because Mr. DeMasmo is a lot better at entertaining kids on long bus rides and other things like that because he went with us to the state convention last year. Mr. Chairman, inviting one of the board members, the, the school board president, to chaperone the trip will show him what we do at state convention and could possibly get us, get him and the rest of the board to sign off to let us go on more trips related, ag related. Mr. Chairman, this, this coming from the school board is the kind of support we need besides the support of our alumni. The school board is the one that signs off on all of our trips and they they are the ones that allow us to go on these trips. Maybe if we take them to the state, to the, or we invite them to the chapter banquet, then we'll show them that this is what we do. Mr. Chairman, okay. I call for a question of personal privilege. State your question, plan, me, I am zip my FFA jacket is hot in here. This is an official FFA contest. You may not unzip your jacket. Privilege denied. Is there any more discussion? Okay, now we'll now proceed to vote. All in favor that our chapter ask the school board president to chaperone the state FFA convention trip, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. The motion passes. Is there any business? Mr. Chairman. Jacob. I move that to hold a chili cook-off for our chapter members during FFA week. Second. It has been moved by Jacob and seconded by Sean that we hold a chili cook-off for our chapter members during FFA week. Let me remind you this is debatable, amendable, and requires a majority vote. I rest your point of order. Sean. This motion is not amendable. According to Robert's rules of order, this motion is amendable. Your point is not well taken. This is... This is debatable, amendable, and requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Jacob. This would be a great idea to get the chapter members involved in a chili, chili cooking cook off because we could get the the principal and the vice and the assistant principal and maybe even the secretary to help judge the different chilies that we have come in. Mr. Chairman. Tyler. Uh, building a chili cook off, remember? Um, barely enough to know how to make chili, so that'd be just a waste of our time. Mr. Chairman. Carrie, not only is FFA week full of fun activities, adding to having a chili contest would even be better for us that I'd love to cook for. Um, Mr. Chairman. Jacob. We could also, instead of having everybody cook some, cook some chili, we could have a couple sign up to bring chili and others bring other things like drinks or bread to go with the soup. Mr. Chairman. Sean. Having a chili cook-off, we could donate some of the chili that we make uh, to the local food pantry in, so that they will also have food for Christmas. Mr. Chairman, well, I personally highly dislike chili. Last time I ate it, I almost choked to death. This would not be a very uh, good idea. Is there any more discussion? Okay, now we will now proceed to vote. All in favor? That are, we hold it. A chili cook-off for chapter members during FFA week, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Nay. The motion fails. Is there any business? Mr. Chairman. Jacob. I move to have our chapter hold a pizza party on the week that we come back from Christmas break. Second. It has been moved by Jacob and seconded by the law group that our chapter hold a pizza party uh, the week after we come back from Christmas all break. Let me remind you, this is debatable, amendable, and requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Tyler. I, I move to um, adjourn this meeting. Second. It's been moved by Tyler and seconded by Sean that we adjourn this meeting.
Bear in mind, this is not debatable, not amendable amendment requires a majority vote. So now proceed to vote. All in favor of adjourning this meeting, please say aye. 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 All opposed, please say nay. The adjournment passes. Madam Secretary, do you have a, further, any, a record of any further business you should never transact in? I have no, Mr. Chairman. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business that should properly come before this meeting? Okay. We're about to adjourn this meeting at the Smithville FFA chapter. As we make it with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everything, everything, that's all, folks.